Okay, hello and welcome everyone. You are currently entering the Transfer Students and Engineering live chat. We'll be starting the session soon, so stick around with us as others continue to join the webinar. So, how is everyone? Thanksgiving's coming up. Does anyone have any fun plans? Anyone going home? Yeah, I live like yeah, I'm going home. I live like 15 minutes away um, when traffic's not bad. So uh, I have to take a flight to Seattle. And for some reason, like even though Seattle is like in the same time zone and it's like pretty close, like it's like close relative to like other parts of the United States, flights are so expensive. Like it, it makes yeah. no sense to me. Always during the holidays, they are. Yeah. yeah. What about anyone else besides, or is anyone staying for Thanksgiving? No. <laughs> no. I'm definitely going home too. I'm very, I'm, I need a break from USC for sure. <laughs> from school. Yeah. yeah. I'm like so excited to return to my cat. My dad keeps sending me cat pictures. I miss um, my dog so much. Like, so much. Yeah. My dad sends me daily cat pictures. It's quite cute. She's quite like adorable. So, <laughs> what's her name? My cat's name is Pippa, which at, when oh. I first named her Pippa, I was like, oh my gosh, it's such a cute name. But then Peppa the pig got really big. <laughs> <laughs> All of my friends call my cat Peppa now. <laughs> like, uh, my dog is named Poppy. We were going to name her Pippa. Oh. oh my goodness. Coincidence. No. <laughs> I really like Pippa because it's like the female version of Pippin from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Ugh, love Lord of the Rings. I need, I, every year I like do a full binge on all the movies. I just I did was my, actually, I was literally thinking that I'm going to do that over Thanksgiving break. Like I was <laughs> planning <laughs> to do that. Yeah. Do I do mine over I, Christmas because it's like a Christmas mm. movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably do it again when I go home. Yeah, honestly. Do um, you start with The Hobbit? I don't like The Hobbit movies that much. <laughs> <laughs> is that bad? Is that an unpopular opinion? I, no. I start with The Hobbit and I watch all six of them. In one sitting? No, no, my God, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because I do mine in one sitting. It's like a full 12 hour like movie fest. Oh, wow. That's brave. I think I have to take like three days for it. At least my like eyes start burning. Oh, <laughs> no. Ah, uh, it's okay. My my expertise in binging really helps me get through the 12 hours. <laughs> okay, um, it looks like the participant number has kind of leveled off, so we're going to get this um, like chat started. So first things first, we want to welcome each of you once again to the Transfer Students in Engineering live chat brought to you by us, Real Life Engineering Students, who were once in your shoes not too long ago. Before we move on, I do want to thank our panelists for taking the time out of their Sundays to join us. Um, it is the week before Thanksgiving, so everyone's like really busy trying to catch up on work. So I really appreciate you guys coming. Okay, so shown here is our agenda for the next hour. We will be kicking it off by introducing our panelists for the evening, all of whom are current engineering students. Then we'll be answering questions that you all submit in the Q webinar Q&A feature. Though I will ask that you all hold off on submitting your questions until we get to the Q&A portion. It's probably obvious given the title, but today we'll be discussing what it's like to be a transfer student in engineering at USC. Any questions about the student experience at USC um, in engineering or in college in general is total fair game. If you're viewing the live chat recording at a later date, don't worry. You can still email us questions at vstudent at usc.edu. We may not get to all of your questions during the session, but if you email one of us, one of us will follow up with a response. So for now, once again, hold off on submitting the questions to the q and I'll let you know when, it's, when you can. So as a reminder, we are just students. We are here to share the student perspective of Viterbi and cannot answer the majority of admissions related questions. Please direct all of those questions to our admissions staff. At the end of the session, we'll spend a few minutes going over how to get in touch with the Viterbi admissions office, how to stay in touch with us, as well as sharing some resources that may be helpful as you navigate the application process. So now, without further ado, we're gonna introduce ourselves and I'll start first. So hello everyone, I'm Jordan. I'm going to be your host today. Um, I am a current junior studying computer science here at USC, and I also have a minor in computational biology, biology and bioinformatics. So 
My involvement on campus, uh, my primary involvement is that I'm president of Case Plus Plus, which is the Center of Artificial Intelligence in Society's student branch. Um, I also conduct undergraduate research here at the here at USC at the Keck School of Medicine under the Center for Genetic Epidemiology. Um, in the past, I've held internships in both AI and software. And also, like last semester, I was a course producer for our data structures class in computer science. Um, we're going to start introducing the panelists. Kicking us off first is going to be Stella. Hi, everyone. I'm Stella. I use she, her pronouns. Um, I'm currently a junior. I'm studying biomedical engineering, and I'm originally from Kansas City. This is my first semester at USC, so I'm still working on getting involved, but I joined the USC Women's Club soccer team, meeting a ton of great people. Um, and I also recently started going to meetings for the Society of Women in Engineering. Um, and I'm gonna look into getting involved in some really cool undergraduate research opportunities that USC offers. Hi everyone, I'm Agak. I'm a junior studying chemical engineering. I'm originally from Denver, Colorado. And some of my involvements are Society of Cosmetic Chemists, National Society of Black Engineers, Black Gen, and ABLA, which is Above and Beyond Luxury Association, and I'm a board member for that club, and then East African Student Association. All right, hi everyone, I'm Nate. Um, I go by he, him pronouns. I'm from Los Angeles, I'm studying computer science. I'm a senior. Um, if anyone's familiar with the LA area, I'm from Hawthorne and transferred from El Camino. If anyone else is transferring from there, I know that's a big, uh, I know that's a big transfer school. And my biggest involvement is I am involved with SHIP, the Society of uh, Hispanic Professional Engineers. All right, so those are all of our panelists. Um, we are also gonna introduce our moderators. So these people are gonna be answering all of your questions that we don't get to in discussion in the chat. So starting us off first is Sydney. Hi everyone, I'm Sydney. I'm a junior majoring in chemical engineering and I'm originally from San Francisco. Hi everybody, my name is Vidya, I use they them pronouns. I'm a sophomore studying environmental engineering and I'm originally from Des Moines, Iowa. Hi everyone, my name is Mateo, I use he him pronouns. I'm a sophomore studying biomedical engineering, originally from Menlo Park, California. Awesome, so now it's time to submit your questions. If you are on the webinar, we encourage you to submit questions to the Q&A feature below. But if you're viewing this from the recording, you can email us your questions to vstudent at usu.edu for answers at a later date. We all want you to know that a few years ago, we were in the same exact position you are in now, applying to colleges as a tr or transferring to colleges and trying to decide where we'd be a best fit for you. So that is why we're here to answer your questions and to speak our honest experiences. So to kick us off with the um, discussion, I just want to know for all of our panelists, when did you transfer to USC and why did you decide to transfer to USC? Um, I can go first. I transferred uh, fall 2020. Um, so I think that was the start of the first like full school year during COVID. Um, and I transferred to USC because um, I think the biggest factor for me was that it was really close to home because um, I knew that I wasn't going to be likely to get housing wherever I went. So it was easier to uh, stay in the area than maybe go somewhere further where I don't know the area and have to like um, start everything new. And so I think it was really comforting to be close to home and um, be close to home and know my way around at least a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely a general experience. Like I'm out of state, so I like don't know the LA area still, even though I've been here for like a couple years. <laughs> Me too. I don't think I ever will either. <laughs> um, so whatever. Anyways, I, like I said, I, this is my first semester here. Um, I transferred to USC because I'm doing a five-year undergraduate program. It's a 3-2 engineering program for anyone who wants to look into it. Um, and I transferred from a small liberal arts school that didn't have their own engineering major. Um, and I chose USC specifically because I went to Scripps College before, which is another school in the LA area. And I, it was really important for me to stay in LA because I've loved the school experience here. And USC has so many great resources. And when I came and visited, I loved the environment and they had some really cool programs that I was interested in and I was excited to explore. Awesome. I transferred um, fall 2021, and I also went to a small liberal arts school before this that didn't have an engineering program, so that's one of the reasons why I transferred, 
And I also thought that I preferred a bigger school and I really liked the environment of USC and definitely location as well. And also just the opportunities you have just to um, get into different clubs or classes. Just, it's very broad in what you can do here. Yeah, yeah. So it sounds like all of you guys like transferred from like smaller to larger schools. Is that correct? I'm not sure about El Camino if that's a small school or not. Yeah, that's a community college um, in the Torrance area. Pretty, pretty big community college, but it's a two year institution. Yeah. So like, how is the experience just transferring to USC, which is like a big like four year university? Um, I think it's been pretty um, positive for me um, because even though it's big, I think you can make the school feel as small as you want, but you can't exactly do the opposite because I know for me, um, I'm pretty involved with, with ship. And so to me, it's like, I see the same around like 30 ish people every week. And so um, it kind of, it kind of does feel pretty small if you can make it small and build your own communities. Yeah, definitely. I would definitely agree because I feel like I've seen a lot of the same faces in a lot of my classes so far as well. So even though it's a big school and there's all of these resources and things you might be overwhelmed by, you're still seeing a lot of the same faces every day in your classes. It's also really fun to have good athletic events to go to. Our football team's been really good this year. Our women's soccer program is doing really well. And that's something for me as someone from a small school, like I feel such a sense of community from the school in those types of events. So I really liked that. And just like Nate said, it's easy to make this big environment feel a little bit smaller. Um, and you can really personalize the experience like that. Yeah, I would agree with what both of you said. Um, I'd say even though the school's big, the classes are fairly small, so you don't really feel the difference. And also, I feel like you feel the difference mostly in, like, events. You really get the school spirit, and that's something that I was looking for for my college experience, so I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's funny that you guys bring up all the events. Do you guys have, like, favorite events of the semester? I know, Stella, it's your first semester here, but you guys, but do you have, like, any, like, favorite events you like to go to, maybe, like, weekly or, like? once a semester? I think um, the most fun events I've been to are the concerts like USC Conquest or the back to school one have been really fun. Yeah, um, so I guess like, I kind of want to start talking a little bit more about um, like the transfer process. Um, I know all of you guys kind of transferred from like, um, like smaller institutions that were maybe like for a couple of years and you ended up going to like an engineering institution. So what was the transfer student, the transfer process like for you all? And what was something like unexpected that you found out after coming to USC? I would say that for me, again, you know, small school to big school, just starting off with something unexpected was how much love there is within the community just because you're a Trojan Um, like you can meet someone on the street and you don't even have to know them and if you're wearing a USC shirt you're automatically kind of family Um, and that's something that I thought was really cool the transfer process it wasn't that stressful I mean we had already done college apps before and it was kind of similar so it was kind of a familiar process USC definitely notifies you a little bit later than other schools about acceptance in the summer So that part got a little bit stressful, but other than that, it was a pretty familiar experience. Yeah, Yeah. I can go ahead. No, um, go ahead. I I can definitely second that. Um, It gets a little stressful when you hear back late um, because another thing that is pretty common is um, you'll get spring grade requested. So um, your application is in during the spring and then they say we're gonna ask to wait to um until you get your spring grades back and then I got my spring grades back in June and they got back to me in July and school started in like a month so then in that month I had to find housing and um make my plans to to go to new school and luckily I was um I live like 15 minutes away, but if I was from like Kansas City, Missouri, I think that would have been a really, a really uh, a lot more stressful than it was. Yeah, I, I mean, both of you guys have brought up housing like a couple times. I'm just curious, like, what's the housing process like? Like, is it hard? Is it easy? Has like, what's been that experience? I know Nate, you're close, but 
And it was still out of state. From my understanding, um, if you're a sophomore, it's not the worst. Um, it's you're pretty likely to get housing not guaranteed still. Um, but my sophomore year was during COVID, so no one was able to get housing. And junior year, I understand it's pretty unlikely to get housing. So um, if you're transferring as a junior, um, I wouldn't say not to apply for housing. You can still get it, but I would also look at other options. Yeah, I transferred as a junior and based off of some Reddit feeds I had looked into, um, I kind of saw some of the similar stuff that it wasn't as guaranteed as a junior. So I had actually had some friends from home who already went to USC and I reached out to one of them and one of them like had an extra bedroom um, and we were just kind of waiting to see and they had backup options. Obviously, they weren't going to be like out rent or something if I wasn't able to come. But I definitely did have to plan for off-campus housing. I didn't even apply for the uh, student housing that was offered. So that was kind of how I went about it. But I think it's different for everybody. Yeah. I think a good resource um, after you get your admissions, the transfer student um, group chat, a lot of people look for roommates there and then suggest places to live. So that's kind of where you can find housing too. Yeah, that's like great advice. And speaking of advice and stuff, Samantha asks, what's helped you guys the most when transferring, preparing to transfer? So I'm assuming like what's prepared you um, like for the application process and just like going to a new school in general? I don't know. I feel like you just kind of have to have this expectation that you're going to have to put yourself out there a little bit to get some research positions, if that's what you're interested in, to make new friends, um, because you're going into this situation where you're, you're not really going to know everyone again. And it's really exciting. Um, and it, I know personally, it was something I was really excited to start studying biomedical engineering. So I was really excited academically. Um, and I knew that I was going to try and join like club soccer, for example. Um, but yeah, that was kind of my experience, just like keep your expectations realistic I guess because it's going to be a lot of fun but it's also going to be a little bit scary. I think having um, someone else one of the other panelists mentioned this but I think having gone through the process before with um, high school applications really helped because it's not your first time doing this and it also helped like help me understand what I want to research for where I want to go to school and um, Another big thing is, again, um, being a little bit involved with my community college, I think involvement is never a bad thing, and it helps show who you are and what you're interested in, and I don't think you can really have any negatives from showing whoever's reading your application who you are. Yeah, yeah, that's all really good advice. So I'm just curious because you guys kind of had to have, like, new student experience twice. How is being a new student at like Viterbi or USC different than being, say, a new student like when you were a freshman at your like previous school? I feel like the difference is that you're kind of the only one that's new. Well, there's other transfers as well, but it seems like there was already a community set and then you have to kind of fit your way in. I feel like that was hard, but also exciting of just finding what you like and easily weaseling your way into like the different crowds that you wanted. But it was definitely harder in terms of like classes of um, getting to know the people in your class because they've already been together. Yeah, definitely. Um, I would totally agree with that. Just it feels like everyone else has already been there. And it's like when you're a freshman, everyone's looking to make new friends. But when you're coming in as a sophomore or junior, a lot of people already have their friends. Um, but like you said, there are a lot of transfers at USC. So it's not hard to find other people in similar situations and everyone is still really nice about it because I think people know there's a lot of transfer students and they see they expect to see a lot of new classes faces in their classes every year and everyone's very nice about like getting your phone number and texting outside of class to like maybe set up study groups or something like that yeah awesome okay so I see there's several questions um in the chat especially regarding um just kind of like majors, classes at USC. So Dylan Chen um, 
ask, like, do you choose your major after you get into Viterbi? Did you guys know what you were going to study? How does that process work out? I applied as a computer science major and um, I got in as that, but from my understanding, I think um, specifically applying to Viterbi, it's the school that admits you is what I understood from my um, application cycle. And, um, and as long as you apply within Viterbi, you can change your mind pretty easily after that. Um, and they said it was, um, it's not supposed to be harder or easier depending on what major you choose. Um, I don't have any reason to believe that's not true. <laughs> How about like everyone else? Did you did you guys know you were gonna study? I know you there's like a BME and Kemi, you know. Yeah. So like did you guys know? Did you guys just come in as undecided? Yeah, that? I think I had to declare because of the program I was doing and also I was coming in as a junior. So it's kind of like you need to know right now. Um USC was actually pretty good at communicating with me because I originally was trying to go for a mechanical emphasis within the biomedical engineering. Uh degree and they were good at communicating with me like hey you might not have space for this mechanical emphasis um the advisor specifically for biomedical engineering at usc in viterbi is outstanding and he was really good at communicating with me like you might not have room for this mechanical emphasis you might not get in if you don't have room do you mm -hmm. want to consider dropping that and i was like yeah absolutely i do <laughs> um so other than that i had to kind of know um but I do think it's flexible within the Turby for sure. Yeah, cool. Um, and just looking here at like our Q and A, there's like several questions. Like Wolf, Juan, and Adam are wondering about like the workload um, at USC compared to like other schools. And I know Adam is specifically wondering how was the transition in terms of class difficulty. And he says this is mostly directed at Nate since he also goes to El Camino. So can you guys talk about like class difficulty and workload? Yeah, um, I know for me, it was it was definitely a transition. I wouldn't say it was um, like the biggest transition out there. I think at the end of the day, um, college level courses are college level courses. Um, but the degree of difficulty definitely does get ramped up. Um, I don't think it's anything unmanageable. I think if you just uh, do the cliches of like time management and um, and know your schedule, I think you should be able to manage uh, the transition. I think the difficulty uh, has increased, but not necessarily the workload. I'd say the homework takes me the same amount of time as before, but it's just harder content. So you need to spend more hours studying. Yes, I'd agree. Yeah, I mean, I can kind of talk about this, especially if you're coming into like USC as a computer science major. Um, a lot of people have to retake like some of the core classes, like especially um, like our C++ classes, if you haven't had any C++ experience before. But I guess I can talk a little bit. I've been a course producer for our data structures class. So pretty much everyone takes that class. And I think what kind of differentiates USC from my understanding is there's a lot of support for students. So you, there's like these things, there are these people called course producers and they're essentially undergraduate TAs and you can go to their office hours. So you have office hours at the professors office hours of the TAs, which are like the grad students, and you also have undergrads who have taken the course you can go to for help. Um, so I don't think, like, even if the class difficulty is very challenging, there's a lot of resources put in place just at Viterbi, and especially the CS department. Um, and I think, like, it's a very conducive environment just to, like, learning and, like, making sure that you're supported. Um, and also, like, I feel here that the environment of Viterbi is very collaborative. So even if like you don't want to go to office hours, a lot of the times friends are willing to help you out on assignments and like just talk, which I think is very cool about just the engineering experience here at Viterbi as opposed to like other schools where it's much more cutthroat or like competitive. Yeah, my experience actually, I will vouch for that. Um, I really liked the school I was at before, but I do feel like I was pretty independent and like I had to, go to office hours on my own if I wanted to go to something like that. I feel like here there very much is a sense of everyone wants you to succeed. And as long as you do the work provided for you to succeed, you will. Um, because there's a lot of different support systems offered and 
um, as long as you just do the work you're supposed to do, you're going to be totally fine. Yeah. Um, so I, there's another question um, by Juan. He says, or he or she, I'm not sure that there's no pronouns, but says, hey guys, my question is as a transfer student, what should one expect the workload to be at USC? I can understand it varies depending on the class. And so I guess just to kind of sum it up, like, can you guys describe your typical day and like what you kind of do during the week? Yeah, I can go first. I think I have more classes now than I did before because there's lecture lecture sections along with discussion, discussion sections, lab sections for like some classes, you'll have four different sections just for the class. Um, so I feel like I'm in class a lot more. I don't necessarily think that means I have more homework. And even when I do have assignments, a lot of the times um, for my classes, it's one homework assignment due every two to three weeks. Sometimes there's like a preview option where you can submit it to the TAs beforehand and they'll give you feedback before the final deadline. Um, so you're always doing and You never don't have anything to do. You can always find something to do if you need to. Um, but it's not unmanageable. It's definitely setting you up to succeed in a good timeline. Does anyone else want to describe their day? I know like, especially yeah, the I could do. Different. Yeah. Um, I say it depends on how many credits you're taking. Like honestly, I'd suggest taking the lesser end so you don't overload yourself with work. But I'd say maybe a minimum of 10 hours a week of just like studying. But in terms of homework, homework assignments are due like every week and probably two or three classes of homework. So I'd say a good amount of study <laughs> and homework, but it's not unmanageable. Yeah, and I guess like I can talk a little bit about from the CS perspective, especially like you start off like at the beginning of um, your courses having weekly assignments. But then once you get to upper divs, normally professors will assign projects um, that could last like three weeks, a month. It really just depends. Like there are some software development classes that last the full semester. Um, and so you can like work on it incrementally. So um, I guess like typical day would be like class, maybe going to like like clubs, events, and then doing homework at the end. I would say that's like fairly typical among most students in Viterbi. Um, so speaking of classes, just to really like talk more about this, what have been your favorite classes overall? I know Stella, you've only been here for a semester, but if you do have a favorite class, feel free to share. I actually do. I have a favorite class right now. Uh-huh. It's a elective course. It's orthopedic biomechanics, which sounds- Do you describe what that means? As someone yeah. who's not in the major. <laughs> I know. I, when I first saw I had to take that, I was like, I don't know what this means. It's basically just learning about the body and forces in the body um, and how joints work and the types of loads they can take. And I feel like I really like this class because not only do I feel like it's applicable, I got knee surgery at one point and I learned all about that process. Um, I, I feel like I'm learning so much in it. I feel like I go to class and it's not like just this super dense material from a lecture that you have to memorize. It's things like, oh, I learned about this and now I know how it works in conjunction with this. And I know in like, you can sometimes do stuff with your own body. One of our homeworks was like, do this movement and show us what you think it means and like to calculate the joint force reaction, all this kind of stuff. It's just a very cool course. And I feel like I'm learning a lot. And I think that's how a lot of the electives are likely going to be. Awesome. Nate, Agok, do you guys have a response? Yeah, I think my favorite course while I've been here so far has been um, data structures. Um, I, I think Jordan structures. was in my class for that, actually. Um, I, you, that class like really opens up the major and you could see why while taking it. And I really enjoyed Professor Cote um, while I had that. Uh, I think that was probably my favorite major. It's kind of like um, once you open that door, you have all the other doors in computer science in front of you that you can open now. Real quick, Nate, every single time like I get asked like, oh, what's my favorite class? I say the data structures. And if there's like another CS kid in the room, they're like, really? Like why data structures? <laughs> but I am glad I have found someone who also appreciates data structures <laughs> as much as I do. Um, Agok, do you have a favorite class? Yeah. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I really enjoy my lab courses, specifically um, chemical engineering lab. 
And I think it's really fun because you get to put what you're learning in practice and actually do it hands on. And it really puts it together for me. I don't like just in lecture, you just learning about the concepts, but it doesn't really matter until you can apply it. That's how I feel. Awesome. So I guess I can talk a little bit about some of my favorite classes. Um, just because I'm also the host, I can answer questions as well. Um, aside from the data structures class, um, I really enjoy the current class I'm taking right now. It's a class called like CSI um, 461, which is taught by Professor Bistro Dilkina, who is the director of CASE. Um, CASE is essentially like the main AI, like the main AI research organization here at USC. So essentially, like over the course of the class, you do an AI, um, really emphasizing it on like AI for promoting um, social good and sustainable development. And then you work on that project, you're advised by Bistra as well as um, her TA over the course of the semester. So by the end, you have like a like, complete paper as well as you can finish project in AI. Um, and so that course also counts for like CS elective credit. So you can take it to count towards your major, which is really cool. And I think like one of the cool things about USC is like, um, especially once you get to like your upper, like upper division electives or electives you take like towards the end of graduation, um, you get like, you can get taught by like really cool professors. There's like another class if, for my CS people here um, in like natural language processing and I don't know, very fun classes um, that I feel like are also within the term. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer this question, kind of transition away from classes. Um, Isaac asks, how often do you guys get to explore internships and job opportunities at engineering students at USC? So if you guys have any job experiences or like hands-on experience, um, like how, how does USC help you? <laughs> I, I still this is your first semester, but like, it is. Yeah, I, I was. I did some uh, summer internships and in like undergraduate research in physics at my other school during the summers. Um, and since coming here, I've been kind of interested in looking into more industry type jobs. And I've gotten a lot of really good advice. Um, people say, you know, like go to the career fair, whatever, do what you need to do there. If you want to join um, an undergraduate research lab just cold email the professor. If they don't respond, try again. If they don't respond, show up to their office. Like it takes, it takes a lot of guts to do that sometimes and people are really impressed. Um, and then the other thing is just like, again, the Trojan network is so wide that if you go on LinkedIn and you look up, you know, some company you're really interested in, if you have USC in your profile, it'll say, hey, this other USC alumni works here. Uh, and you can just cold chat them and be like, hey, I'm really interested in this company, possibly like your specific position or this internship. Ask them to do like a talk with you over Zoom, over coffee or whatever. Um, and then sometimes they'll even refer you. Uh, and I think that's a big benefit of USC is just this Trojan network and just the fight on spirit. People from USC will really do things for current students at USC that they might not do otherwise. Totally. I want to second the cold emailing thing. The coolest thing about USC, unlike like some other like universities, is professors actually want undergrads to work in their labs. So they like, it's a common thing. Like professors prefer working with undergrads than say like master's students. So if you like email a professor and they like read your email, you will at the very least get like an interview or like some sort of conversation. So if you are interested at in research at USC, I think it's like a wonderful place to start researching or at least try it for a semester. But yes, um, does anyone else have an answer? Just to reiterate, um, I can go. it's about jobs and stuff, yeah. Um, in terms of internships, what's been really helpful for me are the clubs I'm involved in, like specifically National Society of Black Engineers and Black Gen. They really connect you to um, different companies and engineering disciplines or whatever the club is um, focused on. And they've, connected me with my internship for the summer last summer. And then Nate, have you had any experiences with like jobs? This is like a very popular question to ask. So I'm just wondering. Yeah. Um, I think I haven't had an internship yet. I kind of got unlucky last year, but um, I think it is true. USC does help you out. Um, like you get a ton of emails about different opportunities. Um, and when you say you go to USC, like you kind of see like, recruiters ears perk up a little bit um I think at the end of the day it is 
it is still definitely on you to like to be the best candidate you can be um but i will say it it does help to go to usc i think it can help you get an interview or maybe if the recruiter also went there i think usc alum are definitely more um school spirited after they graduate than other schools yeah yeah and i also like really want to like second what like a gawk said about joining organizations like the biggest advice i can give to people um aside from like of course going to like those career opportunities that usc will send your way is to get involved like the current club that, um i'm really involved in case plus plus which is like the main ai like undergrad org um we specifically like have relationships with like google and apple to get our students into those companies and so um, it's really common just to like, like when organizations that are like really focused on a topic. So like not just um, Caseless Plus, but we might have makers who has like pretty good relationships with Microsoft to when they have relationships, their students often matriculate into those companies. It's so like that's another kind of perk that like doesn't really make it a lot on like the um, like admissions graphics or like admissions pamphlets. But I guess like students here know that as well. Um, and then just looking at the questions, of course, question at QA is still going on. So if you have any questions, continue sending those in. Um, so let me see. I'm looking at some questions. Why? So you guys transferred into USC. So why did you pick USC out of all the universities you could have transferred into? I think for me, it just had it all in you know the most well-rounded sense of the term uh because I was looking at a lot of other schools um some of them too might have been I feel like USC is a big name and some of the other ones were also kind of big name high ticket schools but USC is in LA it's a beautiful campus you get like first class professors um you get great athletic events to go to and other school spirit type of events um, it kind of just had everything I was looking for, and I didn't feel like I had to sacrifice one thing for another. For me, I think um, everything kind of just aligned perfectly for USC to be the best choice for me, um, because I live nearby. Um, USC, I, I really wanted to go to school with um, good athletics. I, I valued that, and USC when I came in wasn't as big and wasn't the best at football like we are right now, but USC is still USC in that respect. Um, and another funny thing is um, I was, uh, I was kind of deciding between UCLA because like my mom, cut, my mom works there too. And um, it, it just made a lot more sense. I think USC, even though you see the big ticket prices, um, the financial aid office, uh, can be pretty generous and I think for me it ended up being cheaper than other in-state options like UCLA would have been. Um, for me kind of what Stella said it made the most sense in terms of what I was looking for in a school but it also was the only place I could see myself out of all of my options is like this it just made sense honestly. Yeah I mean I think I am, I guess, for like full disclosure, I'm not a transfer student. I was a first year student here. But um, I think one of the reasons why I ended up like choosing USC and why I think a lot of students actually choose USC is the culture here. Um, it's, I mean, I've actually said this before, but I just want to like really iterate this because I, I think it's important. People in the engineering school are actually happy for the most part. I mean, like it's engineering still, it's so hard, but like, People here are social. They like want to get to know you. They're like, it's a very friendly environment. So if you're looking for that in a school, USC is a fantastic option. Obviously, if you're looking for like that competitive environment and everything, um, there are some aspects of that, but it's definitely more on the collaborative side. Um, and that's one of the big reasons why like, not only did I end up applying here the first, like as a first year, but then have also stayed um, is because it's very difficult to get that experience, um, at least from hearing experiences from my friends back home to get that in like a large university and a very like I would say prestigious um engineering school I'll actually vouch for that you saying like you know hearing things from your friends back home comparing it with your own experience that's part of the reason I actually did 
come to USC is because <laughs> I had a couple of friends from home and they loved it. And I had a friend in Viterbi specifically as well. And he like couldn't say enough good things. And I think that's not that common to find in an engineering student sometimes. Sometimes they're like just too miserable to yeah. care what school it is at all. But I think the students definitely, if you talk to any of the students, you'll definitely get the impression that they're genuinely excited about their classes and where they are. And I want to emphasize that like the people here, like, of course, I like work for the admissions office, but the people like other people, other panelists don't work for the admissions office. They're just saying like their experiences. So I want to emphasize not like we're paying them. <laughs> but anyways, besides the point, um, I'm just curious, um, like what, like, as a transfer student at USC, did you like, especially for Stella, because you recently transferred, did you like note like how easy was it to fit in culturally? Because I know that like as a first year, you're kind of in with everyone else who's new, but then as transfer, you have to like fit in with everyone. How was that? I feel like because there's been a lot of different times in my life when I've joined something new or done something new, and there's this common feeling of trying to infiltrate something of like, oh, there's this group that I want to be a part of, whether it's socially, academically, just some kind of interest you have. If the people already know each other, there's a feeling that you have to kind of infiltrate. And I have felt that probably less here than anywhere else. Um, and I think part of that, a part of that is because there are so many different things you can decide to do uh, just extracurricularly. And so when you find something that you're really interested in that you decide to do, and the other people also decide to do it, you're naturally going to have a lot of common interests with them. And so I feel like I fit in pretty well naturally here. And it's, I mean, it's obviously been hard. You're a new kid and you're 20 years old, but um, it's probably been one of the easier experiences I've had of being a new kid. Yeah. I also like want to talk about, um, from like, I like in my friend group, there's several transfer students and I guess it was a bit easier for my year just because um, like they came from two, like a two year university and then they ended up coming in, um, but it was all online. So when they ended up coming on campus, it was like very similar to being a first year student again, especially for um, my year as well. And I honestly didn't even know they were transfer students until we were talking one day and they're like, oh yeah, I like transfer in from a community college. I was like, what? Like, I had no idea, like, it, it's very, like, people don't make it weird here. Like, no one's going to ask you, like, about that. Like, everyone just kind of assumed, like, once you're in USC, once, in your, once you're in Viterbi, you're just in the school, um, which I think is a cool experience. I saw someone raise their hand in, like, the attendees list. Um, if you have a question, feel free to put it in the chat. We um, just FYI. Um, so we are kind of rounding up towards the end of the live chat. So I'm only going to ask like a couple more questions. Um, so do you have, as, as you're rounding up, going to ask the last question. So do you have any advice for transfer students applying specifically to USC? Like things to include in the applications, things to say, what you did, any advice regarding there? I would say, um, know your why and really put that in your application of like why USC specifically because that really makes a difference and I think that helped in my application and also like in terms of professor recommendations get someone who also knows your why on why you want to go to USC so like it could put the story together yeah I think your why and like your passion definitely comes through in your writing and that will come through a lot in your application um, and honestly, it's such a cliche, but just be yourself. I felt like I fit in really well at USC as a prospective transfer student. And, you know, if that's true, they will recognize that in your application. And they'll, again, see this passion you have and they'll see that you would be a good fit here. Yeah, I don't think I can give any better um advice on that. I think you really just have to be yourself. Um, I know I talked a lot about things I wanted to do specifically at USC that I think helped me out. Um, like if I, like, if you really want to get involved with a club that, you know, is on campus, I think it would help you out to show, to talk about that club. And it, it'll show that like you've done your research and that you're going to fit in with the community here. If you talk about 
things that you're already planning. Awesome, awesome. So it looks like we don't have any more like um, questions to answer, like the Q and A is all empty. So we're gonna transition into our slideshow back again. Um, that was our final question. So we hope that you enjoyed the live chat tonight and gained some insight on what it's like to be an engineering student here at USC. If you miss any of the chat, you can rewatch the entire thing on our YouTube channel. We should get that up by tomorrow. If not, probably wait a couple days. You can just rewatch it. Um, okay, so I would like to just cover some details about our admissions um, or the Viterbi admissions office. So we would love for you to stay connected and a way to connect with the Viterbi admissions office is through an information sessions. Um, this is a great opportunity to learn more about the application process. So if you're interested, you can register at the link on the screen. So this is a great time for you to take a picture of the screen so you have this information for later. I do wanna say like our information sessions are very in depth. The um, admissions officers will kind of go through a slideshow about like transferring to USC or just being a student at USC. And then there will also be some students there to get like, if you need to ask questions about that. Okay, so here are some resources. So we're gonna take a second to shout out some amazing resources for students. So at the top here, you can check out the Viterbi student website. So this is our website where we cover like all sorts of things, content about what it's like to be a student here at Viterbi. Um, there's a lot of blogs where students will blog about their experiences and whatnot. So you can um, and then all the blogs are kind of ordered by certain categories. So if you're interested in, say, like computer science, you can go to the computer science category. If you're interested about learning about housing, which I know a lot of people or like people mentioned during the discussion that housing might like be kind of a struggle for transfer students, that would be a great resource to hear like the student perspective of how to find housing. So that's our Viterbi student website. Um, you can also learn more about Viterbi by visiting the Viterbi undergrad website. So this website is just more about general information about being an undergraduate student at Viterbi. Um, and so that's more like curated from the school itself. And lastly, oh, <laughs> and lastly, um, you can explore our campus. Um, the link on like the bottom right here, that is, um, that is a link to see our virtual tour. I highly recommend if you have a chance or the opportunity to come to LA to register for our um, in-person tours. They're really great. The Viterbi, the, not the Viterbi, the USC like admissions tour guides are fantastic and can give really like fun facts about the school that you may have not known otherwise. And then um, I just want to remind you all that the transfer deadline is February 15th. Um, it's pretty like far away from now, but of course, like you heard some great tips from the students here. Um, if you like great tips, especially a tip to consider, even though the transfer deadline is deadline is a couple months away, you have time to ask professors for recommendations now. So if you do have a professor in mind, you can give them um, a heads up that, hey, I'm transferring. I would need a letter of recommendation. They have three months to do it. So just a little bit of a tip for you guys there and make sure you get in those applications by that deadline. So lastly, um, stay connected with us, the Viterbi students. So we would love for you to follow us on our, on our social media accounts. We have an Instagram, Twitter, and a newly made, also not so newly made TikTok. Um, we also have our podcast on Spotify and videos on YouTube. If you would like to learn more about what life is like as an engineering student at USC, or if you just have more questions for us, make sure you email us at vstudent at usc.edu. Um, one of us will answer. You'll get like a custom response from a student. It's not like managed by a computer or anything. So yeah, feel free to shoot us an email. So I know we ended a little bit early, but it looks like we answered all of your questions. So thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Um, thank you so much for our panelists and moderators for taking time out of their Sunday. And good luck on your transfer applications. Stay safe. And as always, fight on. Fight on. Fight on. Thank you.